to my channel or if you're new here hello welcome my name is Tal today I'm doing a really cool video I'm super excited about it because I am talking all about social media platforms and basically everything you need to know the ins and the outs of social media and if you're a small influencer micro influencer nano influencer or even a small business or even a large business watching this this is literally everything you need to know about your social media platform Platforms. But before I get into this, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram. I post lots of amazing content on there. Anyways, let's start off with a little bit of a background on digital marketing on your social media platforms. So basically 42% of people research products that they are interested in on social media, which is kind of crazy because I know throwback to like 20 years ago, you were not researching products that you were considering buying on social media. So not only does it help build your sales as a business, business owner, but also if you're a influencer or a creator on social media platforms, this helps you engage with your community and build a stronger connection with your audience. So here are the top seven platforms that you're going to want to get on as a creator or a brand. So first off being Facebook, everyone knows that Facebook is the king of all social medias. It's the most used social media platform and you can post pictures, videos, texts, you can even do live streaming there's also the opportunity to create groups within the network so you can create like a fan club page or an exclusive brand group where you post exclusive offers discounts deals and everything in between on this page and it is made to help build that community around your brand as a person or as a business the next one comes with no surprise TikTok. it is the fastest growing app and it is an amazing platform for you to put out short video content. It is awesome because people have really low retention when it comes to watching videos or even looking at pictures. So having this short form video is amazing for you to push out your content and make it in a very brief format. It also gives you the opportunity to look at your analytics. You can tag people in it. You can use hashtags, which really helps grow your platform. Number three on the list is Twitter. It is the largest news platform and it has the ability to also post pictures, videos, and text. You can get verified and view analytics on it. The only thing with this is you are not going to be posting content that you have hand created. Majority of people use this for information and news and not personal use. So being an influencer and a creator, this may not be your hub spot to be posting your content on. Number four on the list is LinkedIn. This is extremely important for anyone who is looking to not only get a job, but also if you're looking to hire people on onto your team. Having a LinkedIn profile basically explains everything that you as a person or a business brand offers. You can put all of your professional references, resumes, and it's also an amazing way to professionally display yourself. The next one, which is my favorite, Instagram. Obviously, I am literally an Instagram fanatic. I think it's the empire of all apps. It's owned by Facebook, the biggest app. It has pictures, videos, long format videos. It has the short reel feature which is exactly the same as TikTok. And then you can also comment, use hashtags, tag people in it. It's also amazing to showcase all your products as a business. And it also allows you to reach out with your community. The only thing that it doesn't have is just text posting. Number six is YouTube. You guys know I love YouTube. Basically is an amazing way to put out long format videos where you can spend time editing them beforehand and then uploading them to a huge, amount of viewers and consumers. It isn't a great place to be putting pictures. There is a community tab on YouTube, which allows you just to post a still picture, but it isn't as used as the video posting feature. You can also make money off of monetizing your videos or collaborating with third party businesses or brands with doing sponsorships. Number seven on the list is Pinterest. This is an amazing picture based tool to get your content out to millions of people. It is actually a 60% based female app. So if your demographic is females, I highly recommend that you get your content out onto this app. So next I wanted to talk about the challenges with social media. The first one is it takes 
a lot of time. You have to plan all of your content out, then you actually have to go out and make the content, take the pictures, make the videos, and then you have to edit everything. You have to come up with these drafts that you're gonna post, and then you have to post them. The descriptions, hashtags, tagging the right people, geotags. You also need to make sure that you're communicating with your community whenever they're reaching out to you to make sure you keep that relationship strong. Then you have to make sure that you're also researching the current trends on social media. That way you can stay up to date and that way you're not perceived as a very outdated brand. The second challenge is understanding all of the different platforms. There are so many different platforms out there. The seven that I gave you are literally the tip of the iceberg. You need to understand the audience and the demographic behind each of these apps because everything's going to be different. Also, each platform requires different content because you're not gonna be posting your Instagram pictures onto your YouTube channel. So next, I have some tips for your content creation. There's actually an amazing acronym, three C's, which I highly recommend you use when you're doing your content creation. First C stands for create. This is basically creating unique content. You want to make something that has never been made before. You also wanna be able to repurpose all of your content. So if you're making a YouTube video, you should be able to take stuff and make it into a TikTok or a reel. So that way you can use the most of your footage. The second C, is curate. This is basically linking all of the content that has been created about you from other creators or the community around your brand. You want to post all of their content as well or link it in some sort of description or blog post. But when you do this, you need to make sure that you give credit to the content creator. The third C is collaborate. So that's working with other influencers and other brands, working on brand deals, partnerships, and there's an awesome way at having your brand or business business being viewed by the other person's audience or community. So this was literally everything that you need to know about social media marketing. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it informational. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I hope that you guys have an amazing day whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!